Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, let us get into the next concepts of module 5 that is optical fiber communication. Optical fiber communication is also called as fiber optic communication. Here this technology uses light pulses to transmit the information. And we are going to make that light to travel through a plastic fiber or the glass. Here you can see in the diagram, you can observe this is an optical fiber. In this optical fiber, we will be having two layers. The first layer or the outermost layer will be cladding and inside that we will be having one more layer called core. This core is responsible for traveling of light where light is going to travel with a phenomena called total internal reflection. Here the light rays are beamed into the fiber and propagate through the core and it will reaches the longer distance. And in the diagram you can see initially we have an electrical kind of input that will be given to the transmitter. This transmitter consisting of an LED kind of device which will emit the light. That light will travel through a core. Finally at the receiver we will be having a photodiode that receives the signal and convert back to the electrical output. This is the phenomena used in optical fiber communication. Then why this optical fiber communication is required since we have wired and wireless communication. There are few advantages here. The main advantage is that it is low cost. Since the glass or fiber is made up of silica or sand, it is the raw material we are going to use, say it is a low cost device and low weight and compact. The weight compared to the coaxial cable or the aluminum copper cables, the optical fiber is of very less weight and high carrying capacity, less signal degradation per kilometer we can say it is 0.5 dB and there is no electromagnetic interference occur, there is no circuit here and higher security it is not possible to listen the conversation in between and high efficient it is it allows the data transmit to a longer distance as well as with a less power loss and long lifespan these optical fibers are going to have a life uh, life cycle of over 100 years let us understand the block diagram or the general configuration of a fiber optic communication system initially we will be having a data to be transmitted we call it as information in the kind of voice, data or video or image like that. So we need to convert this into the electrical form first. So that's why here in the input side we will be having a transducer. A transducer is a device that will convert the physical quantity into electrical quantity. Then we have a transmitter and electrical to optical converter. So that will be called as a transmitter and OE source. These two devices are going to convert the electrical signal given by the transducer to an optical signal. So this OE source will be consisting of an LED or ILD that will convert the electrical signal into light that is given to the input channel coupler. This collects the light and put into the core of the optical fiber. Core of the optical fiber is the medium through which light travels. And here is the optical fiber you can see. We can have a bended optical fiber like this also and in between the optical fiber if it is a lengthy one we can use repeaters. Repeater is a device if the signal becomes weak due to the dispersion and attenuation here this repeater is going to strengthen the signal. A kind of optical amplifier we are going to use here in the repeater is called EDFA. Let us see what is EDFA later. And then we will be having a optical fiber again that will be connected to the output channel coupler at the receiver end. This output channel coupler the reverse functionality of the input coupler where it is going to receive the signal as a light. It will give that light information to the OE detector. Here this OE detector is again converting the optical signal into electrical signal that is what it is required to represent at the output side. And if it is any amplification required that will be done at the receiver. Finally the information is going to be received as voice or video or data which we have transmitted at the transmitter side. This is how the communication happens through the optical fiber and this is the block diagram indicating that communication system. So the each and every blocks can be explained like this. It is having an information input that is usually a voice, audio or data that will be given to the transducer for conversion into electrical signal. Once electrical signal is available then we need to convert that into a light signal that will be done by the modulator and the optoelectric source. Here optoelectric source generate electromagnetic waves that is light 
act as a carrier signal here in the optical fiber communication and the devices we are going to use to generate light is LED or ILD. This ILD means injection laser diode which generates the suitable signal frequency of uh, electromagnetic wave by turn a light source on or off rapidly. And we have a coupler that collects the light information or the light signal we say from the opto electric source and then send it effectively to the optical fiber cable to the core of the device. And then we have repeater in between. After certain long distance of communication there might be a chance of signal becomes weak or degrade due to that due to the scattering or absorption or uh, dispersion. So repeater is required here. EDFA repeater we are going to use in the optical uh, communication where it is erbium doped fiber amplifier that is named as EDFA which is used to restore the strength of the signal and also the shape of the signal. This EDFA amplification occurs as the laser pump that excites the beams or erbium ions which then reaches the higher energy levels. So this is what EDFA amplification which is used in the repeater section. Then we will be having a photo detector. As we know photo detector converts the optical signal to electrical signal. Here semiconductor pin diodes are going to be used or some avalanche photo diodes can also be used. And then uh, receiver section the output of the photo detector or the photo current is filtered to remove the DC bias. After the filtering it is amplified it is required then receiver converts the light signal into the electrical form we can say. And then if any digital kind of output is required or the analog transmission is happened we need to convert that to the digital form if it is required at the receiver end. This is what the optical communication or the optical fiber communication how the optical fiber is going to transmit the data from user A to user B. In the next video let us see the satellite communication and the microwave communication topics. Thank you.